Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 30th Anniversary NECA Predator Jungle Extraction Alright, so here's Jungle Extraction Dooch out of the packaging. Um, I like I like the look of him. Um, I like his camo pants, I like the boots, I like the brown uh, button-up, and I like the uh, holster, I guess, over his button-up. But uh, let's get into his accessories first. Uh, so here's his handgun, nicely detailed. Paint on the holster looks good. Gun metal, a little black on top. Looks good. Good gun. Then he comes with his little knife. I said little knife because here's his machete. Big knife. And there's a holster on the side of his leg for that one. And here's his AR M16, I believe. Looks really good. Paint details nice on it. That's really good. So taking a closer look at the figure, uh, the paint on his face looks really cool, the camo paint. Uh, I like the texture in his shirt, how it's all wrinkly and stuff like that. Uh, those grenades are super tiny, they look like little nipple grenades, they're super tiny, not realistic. I think they dropped the ball on those grenades. But the rest of it looks great, um, the jeans and everything like that. Right there is the holster for the machete. Boots look good. Everything Let's like take that. a closer look at his articulation. Uh, there's no upper thigh swivel. His arm goes up about that much. Does 360. Um, single jointed elbow. Uh, goes side to side. His torso joint. Same on that side. Hands are pretty well articulated. This is the holster for the knife. It's the holster for the gun. Leg kicks out about that much. Knee bends about that much, which kind of blows. Uh, and ankle pivot, everything like that. So articulation is fine. Taking a closer look at the face, I really like all the detail in there. The cigar looks badass. The face looks really, really close to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, again, those grenades are super tiny. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty dope figure. I like the camo pants. Boots are cool. There he is with all of his accessories in hand. Looking pretty badass. Um, I really like the look of this figure. It's basically why I bought it. Um, there's the other two versions where he doesn't have the shirt on. And then the muddy version. Um, I wanted this one the most because he looks more like a soldier getting ready to go out there so I'm really happy with the look of this figure uh, if you're looking to buy it I'd say go ahead it's a great figure my only gripe is those uh, those little nipple grenades they're so tiny it doesn't make sense but the scar and his face and everything like that the stuff yeah, looks killer size comparison so, uh, next to Marvel Legends I have my Yondu right there um, a lot bigger than it so I don't think they he goes really well with uh, Marvel Legends. And I'm sorry about um, the noise in the background. It's my air conditioner. Um, we have we have a heat wave going on right now in San Diego, so way too hot to turn it off. Um, there he is next to Black Panther. So you can tell he's a lot bigger than him. Right, and here's a size comparison next to Ash from Army of Darkness. Um, he's also a NECA figure, so they work perfectly next to each other. Um, Size, comparison, heads, hands, everything matches up pretty well. It's pretty cool. 
And here I have him next to the Concrete Jungle Predator. And as you can tell, he's a lot smaller than the Predators, but I believe that's how they go. It's a pretty cool shot with them right next to each other like that. But uh, so there's a size comparison with the Predator next to the new Arnold. Um, I know that there's the other Predator in the wave. It might be a little smaller than this uh, Concrete Jungle Predator, but I think the size looks pretty cool right here. All right, guys. Well, that's my review of the Predator's uh, Jungle Extraction Dutch. Uh, hope you like the review. Please leave a like. Uh, leave a comment if I missed out on anything. Uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, guys. Peace. Thank you.